Hi, I'm Brian Henry, the Assistant National Weather Fire Weather Program Manager for Predictive Services in Boise, Idaho with your fire season outlook for the months May through August. This fire season is shaping up a little bit differently than most fire seasons. We're seeing a slower start to, to the season than what we've had traditionally. Uh, Southwest has been relatively quiet, but we are starting to see some subtle increases. Dry conditions over the past month have led to an increase in activity across Southern Arizona and uh, Southern California as well. Over the next month in May, getting into June, we'll see those grasses that have become very dense and very continuous. They'll be drying out and curing further, and they'll be becoming increasingly receptive to fire activity as we move forward into the summer months. As we go from May into June, we'll start seeing the fire activity across the continental U.S. slowly moving northward, and those grasses will dry and cure out, and we are expecting above normal fire potential across those middle and lower elevations in California. Meanwhile, to the north across the Pacific Northwest and Washington State, the snowpack was below average this past winter. It's one of the few places where the snowpack was below average, and they're under minor drought conditions right now. Those drought conditions are expected to persist into the summer months. So there's potential for above normal fire potential there throughout the four month period in this outlook. So as we progress from June into July, those grasses across the Great Basin, across Northern California, maybe even into the Northern Rockies and Oregon, they'll start to dry out and cure as well. And so we'll see fire activity picking up there as well. Meanwhile, in the higher terrain, we had a well above normal snowpack across the Great Basin, across California, where if you recall, snowpack across parts of this year was in excess of 250% of average. So that snowpack is going to take a while to come off. The melting rates so far this spring are slightly average to below average and will continue to be so probably for the next couple of months. Long-term weather patterns that we're anticipating will generate mostly a westerly type flow, which will promote temperatures that are near average through the summer months. And what that means is that we may not see as frequent or as long duration type of heat waves that we've become accustomed to in past years. Nevertheless, we will experience at least an average fire season, acreage wise and for a number of fire seasons across the western states. Looking elsewhere into the northern Rockies, we're expecting mainly an average fire season up there as well. Um, snowpack is coming off at a fairly normal clip up that way. And in the lower elevations, they'll probably start entering their uh, fire season come early July as they typically do. Now as we transition from July into August, the focus of the fire season activities transitions more northward to the northwestern quarter of the country. And we're expecting some pretty significant fire activity up there. Pockets of above normal activity are expected across the northern Idaho Panhandle, again across portions of northwestern Washington, maybe even staying as far south as western Oregon, depending on how things dry out up that way. Looking north into Alaska, don't want to forget about Alaska, their fire season typically begins in May and we are seeing a slow start to their fire season. Winter, if you recall, was above average with temperature. Snowpack was below average across the interior. But during the month of April, they caught a couple of breaks with some wet systems moving in. And so what that did, that kind of slowed out the drying rates on the fuels over that way. And so in instead of that early fire season start that we we're anticipating, we're expecting more of a gradual start and more of a normal type season for them. That being said, there, are, there is some concern around the uh, road corridors, the travel corridors between Anchorage and Fairbanks and out to Glen Allen and around that loop for some above normal potential there as things still remain fairly dry in the duff layers of the moisture, I mean the duff layers of the soils there. So as we transition from uh, early August into late August, uh, the fire activity should quiet down in Alaska. Fire season should draw to a close as they start getting their late summer moisture but it will continue across the Northern Rockies, the Pacific Northwest, Northern California, and the Northern Great Basin. Now, one thing that's different this year as opposed to other years that we've seen is that all of our long range model data is in really good agreement. And it's been in good agreement now for several months, which is very unusual. And it's pointing again towards those average type temperature regimes for the most part with a few spikes here and there in the temperatures. But it's also showing some periodic shots of moisture coming in off the Pacific Ocean during the summer months. And what that could mean is that could mean an increase in lightning activity. One thing that needs to be said is that those storms that come in off the Pacific Ocean, they tend to be a little bit wetter than the storms that come up from the south. So there should be some moisture underneath the cores, but nevertheless, lightning course is always problematic during the summer months. So we'll be keeping a close eye on that as we move forward in this outlook period. 